As many of you have noticed, LEGO Fortnite was released a few days ago. It's great and I highly recommend it. It's really fun to play and I've already created my own world and I can't wait to build everything in it. And that made me want to create my own LEGO and scene directly in Unreal Engine for a cinematic rendering. I'm gonna show you each step in this video, so come with me. First of all, I wanted to quickly create and iterate on any LEGO build. And this is where I found Studio Software from Bricklink. It is an amazing tool with such a huge community and you can find many great LEGO builds from simple to complex one. I put the link in the description for you. Oh, and of course, it's free. I kept it simple and first use a simple minifig to start creating my LEGO mini me. In order to properly import your LEGO model from studio in your DCC, the best is to use add-on like import LDRAW from Toby Lobster. Make sure to download and set up properly a LDRO library in the path you want in your disk. Here in Blender, you'll need to specify the path to ring imports, otherwise it won't work. I don't recommend using Colada for exporting because you will encounter many problems, including some missing ports. All the links, of course, are in the description. So if you stick to environments, background pieces or assets that will not be in the foreground, you can go from there directly and as you can see, Topology and overall mesh optimization was really not enough for me, mainly for a main character. So I spent quite some time storing retopology and UVs and wrapping. Oh, and I also changed another time my hair, because I have a bit of incipient baldness, but not to this extent anyway. Once everything on spot, I've created a blank scene using games templates and I put my Lego there to rig everything in Unreal. And this is where it gets complicated. Indeed, a LEGO rig, as I wanted to make it here, is quite simple. You don't have any real soft deformation here, so it's going to be rigid and kind of mechanical rig. So I expect it to be able to assign full skin weights per mesh parts directly and avoid using any painted weight feature. For the moment, as far as I was able to explore on Skeletal Editor, we don't have this tool yet. The Skeletal Editor is only for white painted skin for the moment. I spotted the paint map feature on the skin tab here and I was able to assign full influence per mesh object directly but it's a shame not to be able to reuse this data for skin weight attribution. I might have missed something so if you know of a way to do what I'm trying here please let us know in the comments. Anyway it's still experimental you know so this is why we need to test it, offer and work with the developers in order to improve this tool. So I took my LEGO back to Blender and made the whole rig there. It was also faster because of course I am more comfortable with this workflow that I've been using for several years now. Now let's import our LEGO back into a rig again. Here I'm going to create a simple but effective control rig mainly using FK controls. I've covered all this area of expertise in two videos that you can find in the description or up here. So don't hesitate to follow this and you will know each step of this process. Everything's ready to be animated now. First thing first, I quickly jumped to Substance Painter to create some textures for our LEGO. I created several face expressions that I will animate in Unreal directly. I opted for denim pants and a simple top with a pretty puzzle LEGO entirely made by Leia. Let's try everything now. I just imported all my textures from Substance Painter and created a sequencer to taste my rig with my LEGOs including all the textures. And voila! Main character is on point, now let's create some background and general mood. I went back to studio and downloaded this great build from Arla, the Milk Factory. Same as the minifig, I imported everything as Eldro file. I've cleaned up some parts in Blender, but I wasn't too much in detail here like I did for the main character. You can almost export everything directly to Unreal, it will work great. Just don't forget to increase scale to 100 during export. I also added a cute butterfly and quickly rigged it in Blender as well. Now the following part of this video is the final render and animation, all made in Unreal. From the control rig of my minifig, I created multiple sequencers to bring everything to life. My next video will be a tutorial where I cover everything concerning level sequence and all the global workflow I used for this kind of project. So don't miss this out. Let's see our final results.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope this will make you want to create your own LEGO scene and character. And why not play some LEGO Fortnite too? Oh, and it's the last week before Christmas, so good luck for the Christmas presents. See you next Tuesday, not Thursday now, for a new video concerning a level sequence, animation in level sequence, using this scene of LEGO, and I will explain everything in detail for you guys. Bye!